As Director of Paralympic Integration, I'm responsible for the whole of the Paralympic project across LOCOG. I think what's significant about the job title, it really encapsulates what we're trying to do here as the first organising committee to plan and deliver both Olympic Games and Paralympic Games in an integrated fashion, so it's another first for London. It was a bold step that we took, you know, right from bid stage to say we want to do this organising both games in an integrated way, but we're in great shape and everybody's firmly behind both Olympic Games and Paralympic Games. I was phenomenally lucky to be on the team for 17 years, to go to four Paralympic Games, and that experience is invaluable when put alongside all of my commercial experience as well. It's just been incredibly fortunate to have that, and it really ties into what we've said right from the outset with this project. We're putting athletes at the heart of everything we do because we truly believe and we know that if you get it right for the athletes, you'll have a great games for everybody. I think what the Paralympics offers is really a connecting experience for people. They can come and in a more relaxed, more intimate environment, get closer to the athletes, closer to the sport, and close to the action, there is that sense of really being at a games which seeks to draw in more than it stands out. A games where the spectators are there in a connected, participatory manner rather than just looking on in awe. Obviously, with the Paralympics, there are some sports that people may be quite familiar with, swimming, athletics, cycling, but there are other sports people maybe less familiar with, maybe have never even heard of, such as boccia and goalball. So there's a huge education piece. We've got our edu formal education program called Get Set, which is through 15,000 schools up and down the country. That's a phenomenal reach. We've got the Inspire Mark programs where you know, non-profit making organisations can apply, get an Inspire Mark from us, and loads of those are Paralympic focused. So it's really about looking to as many levers as possible to pull to connect people into this project because there are so many ways to judge success but certainly for me one of my key measures will be in the autumn of 2012 I want to absolutely be able to say we truly were able to deliver on our promise to make these everyone's Paralympic Games. I think if we get it right we should be able to make a fundamental shift in attitudes towards and opportunities for disabled people and that will be a great great legacy really looking at transformation here so if a disabled person particularly a young disabled person wants to try sport they should have the same opportunity as their able-bodied counterpart and from that sense of focusing on sport focusing everything we've done in this integrated way that should be able to ripple out into all other elements of society to really increase the profile of disabled people and the opportunities for disabled people in whatever walk of life they choose to uh, play in.